a story that TMZ uh, Sports broke, and this is just an, a gigantic a story. A bombshell involving uh, Blake Griffin, Kendall Jenner, and Blake Griffin's uh, baby, baby mama. mama and ex-fiance, Bryn Cameron, uh, because Bryn Cameron has just filed a blockbuster palimony lawsuit against Blake Griffin. I say blockbuster because, look, we see palimony suits uh, frequently, but the allegations that she has laid out in here against Blake Griffin are explosive. She is calling him a scoundrel, essentially, saying that he abandoned her without even telling her because he wanted the fame of being around a reality television star, i.e. Kendall Jenner, and that she found out that uh, he dumped her and was no longer engaged to her on social media, and she had some choice words about that. Yeah, so they got two kids together, Harvey, uh, and they've been dating for about eight and a half years. They were supposed to get married according to this lawsuit in July of 2017, but he broke things off the week before the wedding because he claims, uh, she, she claims that he wanted a, a, a prenup. And she was like, no way, we already had an oral agreement where you said you were gonna take care of me for the rest of our lives and we were gonna split everything you make going forward. And he was saying, nah, I'll prenup or I'm out. And she said no. And he went to Vegas and on their wedding day that they were supposed to get married, he was partying in Vegas. So she claims that he was a complete scumbag to her, hasn't paid her anything, that she's homeless now and has to hit up family members uh, for money to take care of their kids. Meanwhile, he's in the middle of a 170 Three million dollar contract, million I believe. Did she? And she says that he actually kicked her out of the of the family home, right? Yeah, I kicked her out of the home, left her without any money. Like I said, she can't. She says she can't afford to care for the kids because uh, when they started dating, she had a job at a sports marketing firm and she was doing inter interior designing, and she quit that job well, as part of an agreement he, with Blake right. to take care of their two kids. And uh, so she's saying, look, they had an oral agreement that he would take care of her. Like Evan said, she also says that they held themselves out as husband and wife, especially right. when they were engaged and when they were engaged. Uh, but then I mean, she says, look. I did everything for this guy, and she lists this in the lawsuit. And it's really interesting what she says. I mean, she says, I was his, you know, his Counsel personal trainer, his counselor, his therapist. And, his and by business the way, and advisor. And by the way, she hammers out a lot that all the big business decisions that he made, the endorsement deals, the contract, team stuff, she was a key part in helping that stuff out, according to her. And she feels that, like, the business of Blake Griffin wouldn't be as successful as, as it is without her involved. And then she starts getting into his business by saying, hey, you know what? When he was on the Clippers, he was told he was the team. He was the leader of the team, the future of the team. And all of a sudden, Chris Paul comes along, and he there's a lot of tension between yeah. him and Chris Paul. If you care about that drama, by the way, there was a lot of good stuff on TMZSports.com. She claims there was infighting, that there, the relationship with Blake and his teammates was toxic. It's and all she, there. And she gave him counseling on how to keep his status as the leader of the she, team. She called him a man-child at one point and said that he had such problems communicating that when there were issues that would arise, he would just uh, go silent and give people the silent treatment and she had to like teach him how to communicate with people. You know, wow. I, and, and, I, I mean, all of that stuff is, I mean, th those allegations strike right to the heart of Blake Griffin has got to, talking about how he is in the locker room with other people, that affects him going forward in the NBA. Uh, obviously, it affects him just on a personal level to say that he would have kicked the mother of his children out of the, out of the house. Now, he it, hasn't responded not, to any of this. No, yet. he hasn't responded. It's right. not a good story for him, for sure. I, look, I'm going to give you 30 seconds, just 30 seconds on law here, that in California in the 70s, um, the California Supreme Court and other states have done this too. They have said, look, even if two people are not married, if one, if, if there is even an oral agreement, which is what they're alleging here, not even a written agreement, but an oral agreement or an oral implicit agreement, an implied deal based on the way they conduct wow. themselves. That gets kind of vague, doesn't it? It's That's the way the law okay. is. But, but okay. Harvey, right. to, to, to that point, right. Harvey, she put in uh, multiple love letters from Blake where he says to her, I'm indebted to you because of what you, the sacrifices you've made for our family. And he kind of spells that out, and I think that Bryn believes that these letters are kind of like a smoking gun that he made an oral agreement with her. And, and again, that oral agreement can even be implied that two people are acting like husband and wife and they agree to take care of each other, so she's essentially asking for support for the rest of her life because she says that's what the deal was, especially when she gave up her career. Hey, Carissa, Pennsylvania here. I think this is not about fame for Blake Griffin. He was already kind of famous. He was a big NBA star. I think this is just about going to hell because you're, there's a special place in hell for men who leave women that they have children with to go be with reality stars. Like, what are you looking for with Kendall Jenner? 
You already have a beautiful woman with two kids and a wonderful life getting started. What are you looking for with Kendall Jenner? Like, it's just some kind of hey, Carice, image. Carice, yeah? can, can I ask you a question? Uh, in that place in hell, is there, <laughs> is, is, is there a specific reality star department? If yeah, if yes. it's Kardashian Kim, reality Kim, or... Kristen <laughs> Thompson, they're all in the same group together. Okay, using just, your pregnant women... Just checking. It actually time. sounds kind of fun, no? All those famous people. <laughs> See a lot of people down oh there. Oh my God, it's like the Big Brother house underground. Uh, by the way, we should not overlook the fact that uh, Bryn filed this lawsuit on Valentine's Day. Oh, uh, I uh, is that, that coincidental? Is... I don't know that that's coincidental or not. Uh, yeah. Brian Friedman's the lawyer. I, I have no idea whether it was chosen that way, but it is Valentine's Day.